Yo, what's up guys? I got a movie uh, I'm going to totally recommend to you. Maybe you've seen it, maybe you didn't. It's called Warning Sign, 1985. It's like a sci-fi horror film. So basically the premise is, is this uh, underground research facility. Like in the middle of nowhere, some desert town. Uh, it's disguised to look like a pesticide agriculture uh, laboratory, but really it's like for like biochemical weapons, uh, you know, biological warfare, all that stuff. So... One day, one of the vials gets cracked. And I think it's funny because um, when you look at the cast, it's definitely familiar. Like, you've seen these actors before. Uh, I'm not going to deep dive into it. It doesn't need a deep dive. I'll just set up, like, an IMDb or a trailer so you guys could, you know, check it out yourself. Um, but, yeah, anyway, the vial cracks, the virus gets loose, the facility shuts down, and the military now has to respond to this situation. Um, but things get hairy because it's a small town. So a lot of the adults are like, you know, hey, uh, where's my son who works here, you know? And they're all like, the, you know, the crazy hick redneck type. So they all have like shotguns. They want to break in. The military's like, no, stop it. So they get fed up. The military's like, listen, we can't contain it. We're just going to annihilate anyone inside this facility who we think is infected and sick. So the you know, virus doesn't get out and spread and kill more people. It's just what the government does. The problem's too big. Let's nuke them. They're not really going to nuke them. They're just going to send people in there to, you know, kill the infected. But anyway, um, what I liked about it, because it looks like a serious take on a, you know, viral biological weapon accident. But the people that get sick, like the doctors, and it's, like, like I said, one of the main catalysts, the guy, the actor who starts this whole mess, um, he's one of the police captains or uh, squad leaders for uh, the police academy. I thought that was kind of funny. And he, like, has a sticker attached to him. He drags the vial, and he doesn't know it. Falls on the ground, and he cracks it. But not only that, the dude's wearing, like, contact lens. So he gets decontaminated, but he still has the lens in, you know. So, yeah, that's, like, you know, one of the reasons why the, how this virus gets so spread. And uh, had to, a lot of that have to do with the air conditioning system and all that stuff. Anyway, the people that do get sick, this is the kicker, right? This is the twist. They die, but they come back. Not as zombies, though. Think of, like, a real docile version of, like, you know, the rage virus. This virus they found, like, in um, Europe somewhere. And they made it into a weapon in this lab. And, of course, it got, it got out, right? It's the 80s. It's an 80s film. So, um, but, yeah, it's insane. And uh, so these people come back, like, enraged. And it takes very little to take them off. They'll like grab like an axe off a wall and come at you. There's no resolution. So uh, before the you know government goes into full annihilation mode, they uh, the, the the town sheriff whose wife is like one of the um, you know security room techs there. Uh, she's trying to like defend herself, and surprisingly, she's not getting sick. Uh, other people are not sick. They're like quarantined in like some like uh, lounge area. But you know the people that got sick died and now they came back and they're looking on the security cameras like uh where are the people that just died you know they're like walking around like super angry killing people so now it's a huge crisis um one of the scientists tells the sheriff hey listen there was this guy that worked at this facility he doesn't work there anymore he knows about this thing he lives in the town go find him so after like a lot of convincing the sheriff is like you know please my wife works at this facility can you help me out the guy's like okay so they, you know, team up and they kind of like go rogue a little bit because they're, you know, with, with everything going on, the government's just not really like uh, helping the situation. They're probably making it worse. So they take it upon themselves to break into the facility. They know the risks. And uh, the, they finally link up with the wife, uh, with the sheriff's wife or whatever. And they realize why she's not getting sick. The, the scientist who's with the sheriff draws blood from the uh, you know, the sheriff's wife and realizes she's pregnant. And she's, like, loaded with, like, estrogen, antibodies, all this stuff that's preventing her from getting sick. So this guy makes a, you know, a vaccine from it. And there you go. You know, of course, he has to, like, distribute it, though, throughout. So, you know, that, that's, a, that's a whole idea, you know. So he, I think they, they put it in the um, sprinkler system, which is pretty ingenious. So when the water comes down, it, you know, purifies everything. Uh, brilliant move. And, 
they convinced the government not to go homicidal, and they saved the day. Um, underrated in the fact that like no one really seen this movie, or maybe you guys did. It kind of like went over your head. It's called Warning Sign. Uh, now you know, <laughs> you know, uh, 1980s flick, 1985, and Hal Barwood is the uh, director, who's actually a video game um, designer too. I think this is one of his first. Uh, uh, feature films. Anyway, I think he did a great job. Uh, the cast did a great job. Like, everyone played it straight. You know, there's a few comedic elements in there which work, and it just, it's really good. It's like one of those Saturday night movies you can just, you know, chill and watch, you know. It's got everything you would want, you know. It's not the best of the genre, but it works, I think. And the fact that a lot of people missed it, uh, you know, I think it deserves another, uh, you know, uh, deep dive to check it out like don't don't overanalyze it it's not oscar nominate kind of stuff here but i'm just saying totally worth your time i think if you like you know that kind of genre like uh movies like outbreak or cabin fever resident evil it all it's like a blend of those films but uh yeah uh warning signs check it out and uh i don't know let me know what you think if you, you know if you guys have seen it already let me know in the comments all right, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and all that good stuff. All right, see you guys later.